This is mainly showcasing the automotive aspect of the Aramis project, which is uh, a collaboration between Intel and 32 plus other partners. So this is a publicly funded project, so funded by the German Ministry of Research and Education. This demonstrator has mainly been developed by Intel, BMW, KIT, TU Wind River. So basically we had a car driving around Munich um, and that car had a recording of all the activity that was going through and we synchronized that with video so we can actually have the, the context displayed on the big screen simultaneously to the information on the dashboard. So the screen basically allows for two different informations. On one side, the information which is relevant to driving, so every, every, everything related to the speed, the engine, and this kind of information, but as well some overlay on applications which could be navigation or, or Android-based applications. And the top, we have the different uh, operating systems running, so we can notice that there is one uh, Linux, uh, Ubuntu, actually running simultaneously as an Android operating system. Both of these are actually uh, sharing the same resources, which are the CPU, but the hypervisor is actually dedicating different cores of that same CPU to the different virtual machines. So we don't have one uh, monopolizing the resources for the other virtual machine. So the computer is actually composed of two systems. One system is meant to drive the vehicle and the components that we're showcasing here, and the other computer is based on uh, the simulation that, that runs behind me on the big screen to show the environment in which we're putting the car. So in this case, really having the both systems simultaneously running is about displaying how it's possible to have both the best of both worlds. So in this case, Ubuntu will be bringing up the security and safety related um, components to the vehicle, as well as having um, the, the usability and openness and customization part brought up by Android. As soon as the car starts moving, then the dashboard activates and has all these indicators related to driving that jumps right in. And later on, we have the railroad crossing, which actually displays the fact that we're allowing for some customization through the download of applications within Android on the car. So by downloading an application, we're trying to showcase that that application could have access to information from the infrastructure and would help the, uh, the, the driver understand what's happening around him through the, the infrastructure communicating with the car. In this case, that would be the amount of time that would be required to wait until the railroad crossing gets free again and the driver is available for, for driving. This is also one part of the project, is about seeing how the the car-to-car -car communication works and how that would benefit the driver. In this case, it's about having the emergency vehicle alerting the vehicle in the front that it requires the left lane to be free. And that actually comes as a pop-up message in the middle of the dashboard and covers anything uh, happening behind. As soon as the, the ambulance uh, drives through, then the, the notification gets dismissed. And that's the kind of awareness and context that we're trying to create with the notification. In the parking lot, we're mainly trying to, to show that the, the interface is uh, bringing up the relevant information in relevant context, for example, through the um, different applications launching in different scenarios.